when I'm managing multiple accounts as one portfolio, I typically don't have the same holding in multiple accounts. It's, it's very common what you'll see if you have an advisor that's that's just applying models to an account. You'll see the same positions in every account. I prefer a tax-located strategy because there are different tax consequences in different types of accounts. For example, in your Roth account, um, as long as the the laws don't change, you get tax-free growth. So you want to you want to use your Roth account to hold your most aggressive investments because you can have um, unlimited growth and not have to pay any taxes on them in the future. The exact opposite is true of a traditional IRA or a traditional type of 401k account. Anything that you grow in those type of accounts, you're not only growing for yourself, you're also growing the money for Uncle Sam because you're growing your tax liability. When you take that money out at a later date, if you've grown it from 10000 to 20000 you know, you've got to pay taxes on the 20000 when you take it out, not just the 10000 So you want the income-producing assets, the slowest-growing pieces of your portfolio in your IRA account. And then um, if you have a non-qualified account as well, you the, the best um, investments to hold there are going to be the ones where you can control the tax consequences a little bit. ETFs are, are more tax-efficient than say, mutual funds or maybe some other type of, um, uh, you know, really fast-growing um, company that you may need to trim at some point and then have to pay the capital gains tax on them. 